This video will show you how to prepare for registration, browse for classes, and register for classes. In order to get to the screen I am showing you, you will need to log into the My Edinburgh portal, click on the Scots icon, and click on the registration and planning page. From here, let's prepare for registration. Click on the link, choose the term in which you are wanting to prepare registration for, And this will show you your registration status. It will show you if you are permitted for registration based on your student status and your academic standing. Also, this will display if you have holds, which will prevent you from registering. If you have holds, this area will be red. You will need to clear those holds prior to being eligible to register. You will also be able to see your time ticket. This will provide you the date and the time in which you can begin your registration process. You can also find your program information here. Let's browse for classes. Click on the back button and then click browse classes. Again, choose your term. And from here, you will be able to enter your search criteria. I am going to search for an English course. So I can start to type English, choose it from the drop down menu. Please note, you can add multiple subjects that will be added to your complete result listing. Let's also add art. You can expand your search by clicking advanced search and enter any additional detail information in order to minimize your results. Let's hit search. This will populate all courses that are being offered for that term within those subject areas. Please note that these columns are a little bit close together. You can move them by clicking on the edge of the column and dragging over. You can sort them by clicking on the column heading, or you can simply scroll your view and click on the settings area and remove some options in order to expand those columns. To remove this, just click on the settings again and you will see that this is a little bit more manageable, a little bit more readable. So I am interested in taking this English 101 course, but I would like to find more information about the class. Simply click on the course name and this will provide you with the details of the course, along with bookstore links, the course description, the instructor and meeting times, any prerequisites that are associated with that course, and then a catalog description of the course and what is being offered. You just simply close out to remove that heading. And I, once registration is, is able to, once I am able to register, I will then make sure that I choose this course. If I want to add additional search areas, just click search again. And let's say I want to remove art just by simply clicking on the X. And then you can add another subject area and perform the search function again. Let's say it's time for you to schedule. Let's go back to the main screen. It's time for me to schedule. I'm going to click on register for classes, going to enter the term or select the term from the drop down menu, enter the pin that my advisor has provided to me, click continue, and it will be taken back to the main search area page again. Your search criteria page is here. You also see these panels have been added. This is going to be your registration area, and this is going to be your class schedule area. If you know the CRN for the course, you can click on the enter CRNs here and enter the CRN and then add additional blocks in order to enter the CRNs and then add to summary. By clicking add to summary, that will put your course down into the summary section. So let's say I would like to do the 30024, but there's going to be an error with this. 
you will see that that CRN has moved that course down to the summary section and that course is listed as pending. You are not registered for the course until this pending has changed to green registered. I'm going to hit submit. There is an error. If you have an error that prevents registration, you will see the status information. If you hover over it, the error will appear, or you will also see the error appear in the top right corner of your page. You will need to resolve the error depending upon what it is. If you have questions, you can always reach out to records and registration and we can assist you with how to clear that error. Since there's errors preventing me, I am not able to move forward with registration. And the only action item I have is to remove this section from my registration. So I'll click the submit button in order to remove it. Let's find an additional course. Go to find classes. I will click on biology and hit the search button. You can toggle these menu areas by clicking on the down arrow to expand this top arrow or area. The circle will take you back to the main listing of the three panels or the up arrow will expand the bottom panels. I want to look for a biology course. And this course looks like it meets my knees. needs. I will add it. Again, please note, the status is now pending. I will not be registered for the course until it turns into registered, and that's by clicking on the submit button. You will see that pending has now changed to registered. Let's say my plans have changed, and I no longer want to take this English course. I would just simply click on the drop-down menu, choose drop, and click submit. You will now see the registered status has been changed to deleted. That course I am no longer registered for. Both of these courses are INET courses, so they're not appearing in the schedule area. However, they are appearing in the schedule detail area. This is where you can see the, the name of the course, the days and times, and the date that the course is being offered. You can also click on the schedule and options area and that will populate your course that you are registered for and permit you in order to print a PDF copy of this or you can print it to your computer. Once you are done with the registration process and you would want to view any of your schedules, you will basically click on your view registration information and that will show you your current schedules, your past schedules, and even ungraded classes. If you have any questions regarding the registration process or course search process, please reach out to Records and Registration. We're located in Hamilton Hall. You can reach us at 814-732-3501, or you can email us at records at edinburgh.edu. Thank you.